News 13's Mark Jenkins is live at the Harp and Celts on Magnolia Avenue. And Mark, this had to be an unforgettable experience for the people inside. Yeah, and some of these patrons had to be thinking to themselves, wow, this beer has got to be really strong tonight. Is that the President of the United States? Well, it certainly was. And here we go, the Amway Arena coming down. 600 pounds of dynamite taking out the ceiling and everything else underneath kicking up a huge cloud of dust. The corners of the building will be removed eventually and all that remains from there, more than 20 years of memories. I was hoping you would ask that. Since I don't have a jersey, I have my oh, nice. News 13 safety vest. Just in case something crazy just happens out here, case, you don't want to twist an ankle. $3 surcharge will get you bug juice. You just spray it on the impact zones, typically your bumper, your hood, and your windshield, and that makes it easier to scrape the bugs off. Normally in the middle of a boxing ring, you'd have two fighters slugging it out for multiple rounds, but on this Father's Day, it's a father and son hugging it out for 24 hours. Orange County deputies provided the vehicle VIN number and the bus number into a national database, a database that's accessible by the FBI. When he was killed, police say Trayvon Martin was unarmed. The only thing he was carrying was a drink and a bag of candy he purchased from this 7-Eleven about a mile away. And we haven't seen these two school buses in two weeks, and it's anybody's guess where they're gonna pop up. Surprised to see this door locked. One customer was here looking for answers. He told me off camera he filed his taxes here in January. He paid $400, expecting a return of about $1,700. But so far, hasn't seen a dime. When the first deputy arrived on the scene, he considered this package suspicious, and justifiably so. It had the letters TNT written on the front, but what he didn't see was the words team in training on top of the cooler. But despite the Libya attacks, much focus is still on Saudi Arabia and Iran. Things are contained at the moment, but if the two exchange fire, that could drive the market well above record levels. Hurricane Irene not only kicked up the surf, but spit out hundreds of these. Check them out, massive jellyfish, bigger than the size of my hand. And don't let them fool you. While they lay here prone in the sand, they can still sting you. And so can their babies. They're called sea lice. And swimmers and surfers are paddling through thousands of them. And the area will have considerably less foot traffic because the entrance to this building is on the other side. And while in this area, protesters will have a set of rules they'll have to follow. Tear up thousands of petitions signed by Seminole County residents. And then show a valid Florida driver's license. Passing out flyers like this, offering clothing, groceries, and a warm meal today for the kids. And speaking of kids, you saw my uh, failed attempt at shooting the basket here earlier today with the regulation size basketball hoop. So I've been demoted, putting on my new 13 jersey now and trying again for this time a little smaller. Oh, you switched to the smaller basketball, of course. Maybe not quite as easy. Hopefully the wind isn't as much of a factor this time as it was last time. Oh, I got to stand back too. There's a <laughs> line back here. It makes it even harder. I forgot. Yes. Man, and the kid's laughing at me. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyway, we'll give it another try later. One of the women reports seeing a fraternity brother reach into his pocket, then unscrew a two-liter drink, hold his hand over the top, screw the cap back on, and shake it up before handing the drink back out. Sheriff Demings encouraged people to always be aware of their surroundings, and this automated message is a constant reminder. Your attention, ladies and gentlemen. For the safety and security of the traveling public, please do not leave luggage unattended at any time. Pilots say it takes a special kind of person to be able to climb back into the cockpit just one day after their comrade is killed in a fiery crash. Last call will move to 3 a.m., but only on the last Saturday and Sunday mornings of February. You can take a look behind me here. This field used to be loaded with brush and trees, but was cleared out with that fire. But before the city will turn the water on, People living in unincorporated Seminole County will have to sign one of these. It's a petition, and it gives Castleberry the right to annex your property if and when lawmakers decide to expand city limits. What is going to be in the future for Orlando? Do we get the All-Star Game sometime down the road? There's been discussion that we would get back in the rotation. But Burkhead's neighbor wasn't so fortunate. All kinds of brush had grown over this fence, which served as a fuel line, carrying the fire from the backyard all the way up and eventually catching this home on fire. Fortunately, the fire was isolated to the laundry room, destroying this dryer here. But the smoke spread through that vent and into the dorms next door, where more than 100 men were asleep. 
Once out the back window, police believe Willie took Wanda into the woods. Now that means that they would both have to get over two different fences. You can see the damage to the second fence there. Police say that they searched this area throughout the evening, but still didn't find either person. Willie finally let her go, but it was along the side of the street and she had to walk home all by herself. Now, News 13 was the only news crew here when she arrived at about 9 o'clock this morning. Quinko repaired the field lights after somebody ripped the copper out of 17 different light posts. It's a job that would have cost about $19,000. Quinko made the repairs for free. The suspects tried to force their way inside. The homeowner wasn't having it, though. He slammed the door shut, but the suspects shot through the door. You can see the two different bullet holes. One of those gunshots hit the homeowner inside. You can see the door has been knocked down, and uh, we're told by some of the people who live in this area that kids just run through here all the time. This is one of those buildings right here. You can see that the carpet has weeds growing through it. Yeah, well, the answer to all that stinky smoke you're smelling in Orlando is really right behind me here on these signs. You can see the caution, smoke ahead, warning motorists. Now take a look. This tangerine is just covered with frozen water, but on the inside, it's perfectly fine. Now, these irrigation systems are utilized not just to protect the fruits, but especially the trees. We cut into an orange here, and you can see that there's plenty of juices still inside. Take a shot at a regulation size hoop. And people not tall enough to dunk had an opportunity to go even higher than the hoop on this rock climbing wall. Of course, the good news here is that these cold temperatures only supposed to last a couple of days. Central Florida Fair supposed to stick around all week. We're in Orange County, Mark Jenkins, News 13. Either way, at least at the end of the night last night, they went home with quite an interesting story to tell. Mayor Buddy Dyer as he heads over to the Amway Center a little bit later this morning for the State of the Downtown Address that happening at 11.15 this morning. For now, we're reporting in Lake Eola, Mark Jenkins, News 13.